about what, what you think about this week as you go through it, having you know all, all this time here and three coaches and just all the ups and downs? Uh, it's been fun. I mean, you know, you get a few laughs out of it now. I mean, you know, winning helps too. But uh, it's been fun. It's definitely been an experience. Um, if I had to do it again, I probably would because, I mean, I, I've learned a bunch. And, you, know, you can always learn more from three coaches than you can from one. So if I ever decide to coach one day, I'll be able to slow it down, speed it up, do a drive, post, and then do it all. <laughs> I have to find a place to do that, but I'll be able to do it all. So if you were to coach, you'd be a combination of Tubby Smith, Billy Gillespie, and John Calipari? Yes. And what would that guy be like? Uh, he'd be funny. <laughs> um, intense. And a little crazy. <laughs> and that's for you to decide which qualities go with him. Perry, how would you, can you give a line or two on each of the three coaches <coughs> off the top of your head? Um, I guess I, I enjoy playing for Coach Smith. I mean, I guess not not everybody would give a 6'9", 190 guy an opportunity to play at this high of a level. I mean, he, he believed in me and thought I could do it. And that, that's pretty much part of the reason I came to play for him, along with the, the fans and the, and the tradition. Uh, Coach G was just intense. I mean, always intense, 24/7. He had a funny side, but I mean, he had to scratch and claw to see it. But he—he he was also a good guy. Deep down, I, I do believe he was, because I mean, he gave everybody an opportunity. And Coach Cal is just always honest. He's—he's he's just a winner. I don't, I don't see anything better about him. He's just a winner, and he's a real good guy. He tells you the truth. What you need to hear, and he doesn't should record anything. You want to coach him? Uh, maybe. I mean, I'm I'm not completely sold on the idea of coaching. I mean, I know how hard some players are to deal with. And I'm one of the good guys, and I'm pretty sure I was hard to deal with. Not for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Perry, what are the other? What did Mark and Ramon mean to you, and having gone through this journey with them, and now to lead with them? They. Those two guys, I'll probably remember them the most. I mean, those two guys have been in this position with me through three coaches. Uh, it's, I'm, I'm probably, if they change their numbers, I'm, I'm going to be pretty upset about it. <laughs> I might have to give them a call or text every now and then just, just to see how they're doing. But those, those guys are pretty special. Man. We've been through a lot. Perry, I ask you the same question I asked Ramon. You you were a starter, played a considerable amount of minutes this year, more coming off the bench, not as many minutes. Was that hard to deal with in any way? Uh, no, not at all. I mean, uh, being a starter ended up in the NIT. But I mean, coming off the bench now, we're what, number three, four in the country, and we playing for a number one seed in the tournament. So I, mean, I don't. I don't have a problem changing rules, it was for the better.